Unit 8 Simple Machine Exercise 1. Tick the best answers A. Why is a single fixed pulley used even when it does not have a mechanical advantage? I. To magnify force E. To increase the velocity of an object E. To increase efficiency IV. To change the direction of force B. Which of the following is the velocity ratio of a three-pulley system? I. 1. E. 2 E. 3 IV. 4. C. A 6-meter long wooden plank is used to lift the load up to a 2-meter height in a truck. What is the velocity ratio of the inclined plane? I. 1. E. 2 E. 3 IV. 4. D. What is the efficiency of a perfect machine? I. 100% E and LT 100% E and GT 100% IV 0% E from which of the following simple machines a wheelbarrow with a single wheel is formed I wheel and axle and lever E pulley and wedge E incline plane and screw IV lever and wedge 2 give differences A pulley and wheel and axle pulley wheel and axle a pulley uses a rope over a wheel to lift loads. A wheel and axle rotates together to move or lift loads. Used to change the direction of force. Used to multiply force or speed. Rope moves over the groove. Axle rotates with the wheel. B. VR, velocity ratio, and MA, mechanical advantage. VR, velocity ratio, MA, mechanical advantage. It is the ratio of distance moved by effort to load. It is the ratio of load to effort. It is always is greater than or equal to MA. It is always is less than or equal to VR. No unit. No unit. C. Jackscrew and axe. Jackscrew. Axe. Used to lift heavy loads. Used to split wood. Works on the principle of screw. Works on the principle of wedge. Converts rotational force into linear motion. Converts force into splitting action. D. Input work and output work. Input work output work. Work done on the machine by the user. Work done by the machine on the load. Always greater in real machines due to friction. Always less than input work in real machines. Input work equals effort times effort distance output work equals load times load distance. 3. Give reason. A. Why are winding roads made in the hilly region? Answer. Winding roads are made in the hilly region because they increase the distance traveled, thereby reducing the steepness of the slope and making it easier for vehicles to climb. B. Why is a crane called a complex machine? Answer. A crane is called a complex machine because it is made up of many simple machines like pulleys, levers, and wheel and axle. C. Why does no machine have 100% efficiency? Answer. No machine has 100% efficiency because energy is always lost due to friction and heat during operation. D. Why is mechanical advantage always less than the velocity ratio in a real machine? Answer. Mechanical advantage is always less than the velocity ratio in a real machine because energy losses, such as friction, reduce the effective output compared to the ideal input. E. Why is the wheel and axle called a continuous lever? Answer. The wheel and axle is called a continuous lever because the wheel functions as the effort arm and the axle as the load arm, rotating about a common fulcrum. 4. Answer the following questions. A. What is a simple machine? Mention its advantages. Answer. A simple machine is a device that makes our work easier by either changing the direction of a force or increasing the effect of a force. It has very few or no moving parts. Simple machines help reduce the amount of effort needed to do work. Advantages. It saves time and energy. It makes lifting or moving heavy objects easier. It helps to change the direction of force. Examples include levers, pulleys, inclined planes, wedges, screws, and wheel and axle. B. What is a complex machine? Describe with an example. Answer. A complex machine is a combination of two or more simple machines working together to make work easier. These machines are used to perform complicated tasks. Example. 
A crane is a complex machine. It uses pulleys to lift heavy loads, levers to balance them, and wheels and axles for movement. Together, these simple machines help the crane perform difficult jobs like lifting materials on construction sites. C. Define an inclined plane with its examples. Answer. An inclined plane is a flat surface that is tilted at an angle to help raise or lower objects. It allows us to lift a heavy object with less effort by increasing the distance over which the force is applied. Examples. Ramp for wheelchairs, staircases, slides, and hilly roads are all examples of inclined planes used in daily life. D. What is a wedge? Write its importance with examples. Answer. A wedge is a simple machine that is made by joining two inclined planes together. It is used to split or cut things apart. When force is applied to the wide end, the force is transferred to the sharp edge which cuts through materials. Importance. Wedges are very useful in cutting, piercing, or splitting objects. Examples. Knife, axe, nail, chisel, and pin are all examples of wedges. E. What is a screw? Give examples of its use in daily life. Answer. A screw is a simple machine that consists of a spiral inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. It converts rotational motion into linear motion, helping to hold objects together or lift loads. Examples in daily life. Bottle caps, jack screws for lifting cars, bolts, screws used in woodwork, and drill machines. F. Define the types of pulley with labeled diagrams. Answer. There are three main types of pulleys. 1. Fixed pulley. The pulley is attached to a fixed support. It does not move. It only changes the direction of the applied force. 2. Movable pulley. The pulley moves with the load. It reduces the amount of effort needed to lift the load. 3. Combined pulley, block and tackle, it combines fixed and movable pulleys to reduce effort and change the direction of force. It gives greater mechanical advantage. G. Describe the methods to calculate MA and VR in screw and wedge with respective figures. Answer. For screw. Mechanical advantage MA equals circumference pitch equals 2 pi r pitch. Velocity ratio VR equals same formula. For wedge. Mechanical advantage MA equals length of wedge width of wedge. Velocity ratio VR equals same as MA in ideal conditions. H. How do we increase MA and VR in an inclined plane? Give examples. Answer. We can increase the mechanical advantage MA and velocity ratio VR of an inclined plane by increasing the length of the plane and reducing its height. The longer and less steep the inclined plane is, the easier it is to lift or lower a load. Examples. Winding roads in hilly regions, long ramps in hospitals, and loading ramps in trucks. I. The efficiency of a machine is 75%. What does it mean? Answer. If the efficiency of a machine is 75%, it means that 75% of the input energy or work is converted into useful output, while the remaining 25% is lost due to friction, heat, or other forms of energy loss. It shows that the machine is not perfect but still quite efficient. J. A perfect machine is almost impossible in our life. Describe with reason. Answer. A perfect machine is a machine with 100% efficiency, meaning no energy is lost during work. But in real life, all machines have friction, air resistance, and other factors that cause energy loss. So, a perfect machine cannot exist because some energy will always be wasted. K. Explain, with a figure, the method to calculate the velocity ratio in wheel and axle. Answer. The velocity ratio VR, in a wheel and axle is calculated by dividing the radius or diameter of the wheel by the radius or diameter of the axle. VR equals radius of wheel radius of axle. This shows how much faster or stronger the wheel moves compared to the axle. L. Identify the simple machines from which each of the given complex machines is made. I. Sewing machine made of wheel and axle for spinning lever for pressing and screw to hold parts e stapler machine made of lever to press wedge the pin and spring e bicycle 
made of wheel and axle, wheels, levers, brakes and pedals, pulleys and gears, chain system. IV domestic flour mill, made of screw, for grinding, wheel and axle, rotating parts, and lever, for operating. 5. Solve the given numerical problems. A. Calculate the MA, VR and efficiency of the inclined plane shown in the figure. Answer. Given. Mass equals 90 kg using the formula. F equals ma equals 90 times 10 equals 900 n, where e equals 10 meters per square second, load equals 900 n. Mechanical advantage, ma, equals load, effort equals 900 300 c equals 3 effort equals 300 n. Effort distance, load distance equals velocity ratio, vr, for inclined plane. Length of inclined plane equals 20 meters, height of inclined plane equals 5 meters so. VR equals L, H equals 20 fifths equals 4. Efficiency eta equals mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, times 100% equals, 3 quarters times 100% equals 75%. B, 4 pulley systems are shown in the given figure. If the efficiency of the pulley system is 80%, then solve the questions given below. I, how much force is required to uplift 1000 N load? E. Calculate mechanical advantage. E. Calculate input work and output work to lift the load up to 6 meters height. Answer. Given. Efficiency eta equals 80% velocity ratio, VR equals 4 load, weight equals 1000 N. I. How much effort is required to lift a 1000 N load? Answer. Let mechanical advantage, MA equals. Using the formula. Eta equals MA, VR, times 100% rightwards double arrow 80% equals MA, 4 times 100% rightwards double arrow ma equals 3.2. Now, MA equals load, effort rightwards double arrow 3.2 equals 1000 N, E rightwards double arrow effort, E equals 1000 thirds point 2 equals 312.5 N. E, what is the mechanical advantage? Answer. Mechanical advantage, MA, equals 3.2, as calculated from efficiency and velocity ratio. Eta equals MA, VR, times 100%. Rightwards double arrow MA equals, Eta times VR, 100 equals, 80 times 4, 100 equals 3.2. E, calculate the input work and output work when the weight is lifted 6 meters high. Given. Effort equals 312.5 N. MA equals 3.2, input work equals 7500 J, output work equals 6000 J, answer. If the load is lifted to a height of 6 meters, then, output work equals load times height equals 1000 N times 6 meters equals 6000 J efficiency equals, output work, input work, times 100% rightwards double arrow 80% equals, 6000 input work, times 100% rightwards double arrow input work equals 6000 over 0 0.8 equals 7500 J. C. The radius of the wheel is 20 cm and that of the axle is 5 cm in a wheel and axle. An effort of 250N is required to lift a load of 500N by using this machine. What are its MA, VR and efficiency? Answer. Given. Effort E equals 250N load L equals 500N radius of wheel equals 20 cm radius of axle equals 5 cm I mechanical advantage MA mechanical advantage is the ratio of load to effort. So. MA equals load, effort equals 500 250 it's equals 2. E, velocity ratio, VR. Velocity ratio is the ratio of the radius of the wheel to the radius of the axle. So, VR equals radius of wheel, radius of axle equals 20 fifths equals 4. E, efficiency, eta. Efficiency is the ratio of mechanical advantage to velocity ratio, multiplied by 100%. So, eta equals MA, VR, times 100% equals, 2 quarters times 100% equals 50%. Final answer. Mechanical advantage equals 2 velocity ratio equals 4 efficiency equals 50%. D. In the adjoining figure, a wooden block is split by using a wedge. Width is given as 6 cm and vertical height is 12 cm. 
When we apply 300N force, it produces the resistance load of 500N calculate its MA, VR and efficiency. Answer. The effort applied on the wedge E is 300 newtons. The friction or resistance produced on the surface of the wedge W is 500 newtons. The depth of the wedge is 12 centimeters, and the width of the wedge is 6 centimeters. I. Mechanical advantage, MA, mechanical advantage is calculated using the formula. MA equals load effort. Equals 500N, 300N equals 1.67. E. Velocity ratio, VR, velocity ratio is calculated using VR equals depth of wedge, width of wedge equals 12 centimeters, 6 centimeters equals 2. E. Efficiency, eta, efficiency is given by the formula. Eta equals MA, VR, times 100% equals 1. 67 halves times 100% equals 85.3%. Final answer. Mechanical advantage equals 1.67 velocity ratio equals 2 efficiency equals 85.3%.